Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Another day, another project, another piece of old supply I'm going to use up and try for the first time. So last one was the fast cast and we made this. If you remember, we made the uh, dragonfly with the fast cast. So this is fast cast. I did not love it. I was not a fan. Um, it's fast, but I was not a fan. If you want to hear my opinion on that, you go back and watch that video. But today we're going to use another product and it's called Smooth Cast Liquid Plastic um, on the same mold. We're going to try the same mold. I know nothing about this except that it's been in my, inv my supplies forever. Um, <clears throat> stir well before using. It's leaked. Everything's leaked. Everything I get from Amazon has leaked. Like, it's leaked. So I don't even know if it's even functional anymore. Way to go, Amazon. Like, it was leaking the day I got it. I, this one I do know was leaking. Perfect for pouring into rubber molds, which is what we have. Turns from a liquid to a solid plastic and reflects perfect detail. Ideal for duplicating a variety of original molds or patterns. Uh, it is a one-to-one -one mixture again. Pour into rubber mold, let cure, and then demold. Same thing. Okay. Okay. Make fast reproductions. No. What is this? Liquid plastic. So what is the, what is this? It says liquid rubber products for making flexible molds. What am I doing? This is the, this is the plastic, right? That's still liquid. That's still liquid. Okay, the destructions are coming out. Two and a half minutes is your pot life, it says. That's how much time I have to mix it. Two and a half minutes before it starts to harden. So we gotta move fast. Wear glasses, check. Wear gloves. Okay. <sighs> Got it. Wear gloves. <sighs> All right, then. It's a one-to-one -one again. One-to-one. -one. Dollar Tree Pots. And we have just enough left to at least try this once. This doesn't work out. I'm going to, I'm going to chuck this. I'm going to chuck the fast cast. I chuck the fast cast. Um, because I don't have time to have product that doesn't work taking up my shelves. So if it doesn't work, it's gone. It's going. If it's not something I want to use, it's goodbye. You've taken up enough space and time and money, frankly. But we are going to try a smooth cast plastic for the first time. Let me get you switched around so you can see what I'm doing. I'm so sick of products that promise a lot of things and don't work. So I'm going to shake this.
tiny bit more of that. And they are at a one-to-one. -one. We're going to cap that so there's no accidents. And now we pray. Okay, here we go. Ooh, just like the other one, it changed fast. But this is a liquid, which is awesome. Because that will make it filling this mold a little easier. in that horns there. Oops, 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 oops. I've, I've dribbled. Made a mess. All right. We are full. Let's fill up our little back up here. We got a uh, turtle now. Ooh, we got a little bit left. What else can I make? Well, what else? What else? What else? What else? Huh? Uh, uh, um, that's too deep. I got these little pearls that I haven't used yet. Just thought they'd be a fun embellishment if we ever needed them. And now here we are needing them. Ugh. I was going to use paper clay with them, but eh. It is heating up too. So just like the other one, there is a reaction of some kind happening. And that's it. That's what we can use. Wait, wait, wait. These got a little bit. These drip down in there. All right, 10 minutes for all of these now. I almost forgot the wire again. Ooh, it's already hard. Oh. I think I got it in time. <laughs> It's already really, really stiff. All right, it's been 10 minutes. Um, they're still warm and uh, they're not like the, they're not white. <laughs> they're not sticky. I don't know if I should go ahead and demold it. No, it, it's definitely very rubbery when I pull on this. So I don't want to do that quite yet. So I think it's going to be more than 10 minutes setup time, even though it said 10 minutes to cure. I mean, you can hear it's firmed up, but you see how it's white along the edges? I thought the whole thing was supposed to be white and I can feel heat. Like heat. Okay, we're going to give that another 10 minutes. I don't know. I don't know. Um, in about another 10 minutes, I'm going to demold it. I'm just going to pull it away from the edges of this plastic. Mm. It's 
still feels a little warm and I mean it's been a good 20 minutes here so I don't I don't believe they're curing time I guess is what I'm saying take the 10 minutes with a grain of salt Oh my, oh my. Okay, I gotta get the antennae out, hang on. Well, it's like a piece of crystal. That turned out really good, actually. Um, no air bubbles like the fast cast had. So the fast cast had air bubbles. So you can see all the little holes up here. There's none with this. Um, this was definitely more of a liquid. It was, it was setting fast, but it evened itself out in the mold. And it filled in all the detail really nice. Which you can't see on camera, but I can see it. Hmm. 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 That turned out nice. Let's see how our little turtle did. This is a deeper mold. Still a little warm in there. <laughs> that even did better than the resin you guys he's not all textured like the resin he's so cute um when i went in and refilled he's a little rounded on the bottom and now these are my little pearls No idea what I'm going to use these for, but we've got them now. They're perfect. I mean, aside from the fact that I overfilled the mold, they're perfect. Speaking of overfill the mold, what do you see? It's, these are smaller curls on this one. So there needs to be some cleanup. It's flexible still. I don't know if it's supposed to be flexible still. I don't know. Um, yeah. It did his job, I think. I mean, he's not flexible. He just needs a little more cure time. I don't know. It's very cool. No air bubbles. Very cool. I like this. <laughs> this I would use again. Because this is much quicker than epoxy resin. And as you can see, it came out just as well. I mean, I don't know if you can color it, but I could definitely paint this. I think I'll pour one for myself. I think I'll pour one for myself. Just end of sentence. So I think I'll pour one and do like a, um, look how perfect the antenna came out. I mean, they're perfect compared to the fast cast. Yeah, it's this one for me. I like this. I like it. Very nice. I mean, I don't like the fact that mine was leaking, but that's not their fault. It's whoever shipped it from Amazon and didn't know how to package things. So super cute.
Oh, I like it. I think I'll make myself one and then try the color shift paint on it because I think this would be super cute. But I'm going to give this one to my friend Naomi. This was her mold and um, she had ordered it thinking she was getting a um, dragonfly and so she was a little disappointed. But now we can give her two. She can have a dragonfly for her project. So perfect. And then I hung the little thing on the back and that's working. I've got that on the back of that one as well. So we can hang these on the wall. They'll be cute when she's done with them. They'll be very cute. All right. Thanks for watching, you guys. Happy junkin'. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more Junkin' videos.